Who knows who EuroIX is? All right. Well, EuroIX is the association of the internet exchanges. And the next talk is by Bijal Zangani. She's the managing director. And she's going to talk about the EuroIX community activities. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Wolfgang, for the lovely introduction. Hello, everyone. Um, it's really nice to be uh, back in Hamburg. Um, at, we had a forum here. I think it's been over uh, 10 years now uh, when, we first, uh, when we first visited. So it's a lovely city, and I'm very happy to be back at my first DNOG. So um, even, even more exciting for me. So uh, and well, thank you for having me, uh, first of all, as well. So, um, Wolfgang just asked how many, who, who knows EuroIX, so I'm uh, the Managing Director of EuroIX, Bijal Sangani, and today I'm going to be talking about some of our um, activities and some of the uh, projects that we're working on within the association. So, um, as, uh, as we've said, EuroIX is a association for internet exchange points. We have uh, currently 70 members. And um, yeah, we had uh, some, some new ones join uh, this year, uh, Stuttgart IX, so I'm very thrilled to uh, have Stuttgart IX join the association this year. And we also had uh, JEDIX, which is one of the internet exchanges based in Saudi Arabia. Uh, so the association is still growing. Um, I'm sure, I, I don't know if there's any IXs in the audience that are not yet members, but if you are not a member of your IX, then please come and talk to me if you're an IX. Um, and um, there's lots of different membership types, um, and uh, we do lots of good things, as you will hopefully see soon. Uh, we also have patrons, and patrons are typically organizations that work really closely with um, internet exchange points. So over here you can see um, a couple of vendors, uh, switch, uh, switch vendors, um, and other associations like um, CIRA, um, Internet Society, who work very, very closely uh, with, with the um, internet exchange points as well. So we've got switch vendors, optics, there's lots of optics um, vendors that also work very closely with the Internet Exchange Point community, so they also join the association so they can have a closer link um, with the IXPs. So, uh, what do we do? We, um, we have events as well. We have two events in a year. Uh, we've just had one of uh, our last event of the year in Edinburgh, uh, which was really nice. We had 100 attendees um, from th and 37 internet exchange points present. So it is, um, it is the event where if you're trying to reach internet exchange points, you will reach a large, large, uh, large number of um, IXs at the EuroIX. Like I said, there was 37 at the meeting in Edinburgh. Um, we also have workshops and hackathons. Um, so we do these depending on um, membership demand, really. So if there is any topics that um, the members feel that they want to uh, talk about or run a workshop on, then we, we, we facilitate uh, the workshops. So for example, we've had ones on root servers. Um, we also have a list of um, root server large BGP communities, and this was also done through a workshop. Um, we have a, a number of uh, services as well and projects that we work on. I'm going to talk about two of the main projects um, a bit in, in detail, but we have a number of reports. So we do a yearly IXP report. We have monthly newsletters, so if you're interested in hearing news about IXs, then feel free to subscribe to the uh, newsletter. We have mailing lists which are only for members and patrons. Um, and again, you get some insight into the world of IXPs by joining, joining those. Um, in terms of our projects, uh, we have the IXP database, which I'm going to talk about shortly. We have the peering toolbox, which I'm also going to be talking about shortly. Um, we have a program for um, IX for a, a fellowship and a mentor IX program, and the idea there is to support IXPs that uh, that, that need that need support. And this can be in in many different ways. It can be technical support, it can be commercial support, um, and, and it's just a kind of like program where we can set up um, IXs with other IXs to help them grow. I mentioned the root server large BGP communities list, and we've just also launched a new IXP film. So the IXP database. 
The IXP database is a community-driven, um, well, the IXP database is built from the, the, uh, an IXF JSON schema. And the JSON schema was put together by the IXP community. And it was a way to allow um, IXPs to report their data in a standard format. So this data includes uh, information about the IXP. So you have the AS numbers, you have locations, you have the hardware that is used um, and the hardware that's used by the participants, and also root server information. Uh, you can find information about the, the JSON schema on GitHub, and um, for those of you that are not aware, you can also, um, networks can also plug in, um, sorry, IXs can also plug in their JSON schema into the peer, into peering DB, um, and that also helps to um, automate um, the updates in peering DB if you're an IX. So, um, if you go to the IXP database, you will, um, you'll see a number of uh, tables, um, and what we show is uh, the number, the IXPs uh, by connected ASN, so you can see the number of ASNs that are connected to the different IXs. You can also see which um, IX has recently had a network uh, join. Um, so, for example, over here, you can see that there's a couple of IXs. Um, you can see which IXs have recently had uh, new members join. You can also see the IXP switch hardware. So, um, IXs that are using uh, the different switches, you can see uh, which, uh, which, which vendors are being used at the different IXs. You won't see the detailed information. You'll see the aggregated information, as I'm showing you here. Um, and we also show the different networks in the different regions as well. So, for example, we look at the different IXs, we look at the different regions that they're in, and then we look at the number of ASNs that are seen through um, in, in that region. Um, and it gives a, a rough idea of, um, you know, how, how, how it's all kind of broken down. But also, I think what's really interesting is you can see uh, which networks are unique. So, for example, if we look at um, Europe, you can see that there's over 14,000 networks that are seen through the IXP database in Europe. Out of that, uh, th 3,774 are unique. So what that means is those networks are networks that you'll only find in Europe. You won't find those in Africa or Asia, for example. Um, so you can find all of that on the uh, homepage. So uh, feel free to have a look on, on there. Um, so the future, what are we uh, working on? We are working on collecting and organizing the data. Uh, we're still working on um, bringing all of this data together. We are encouraging IXPs to adopt the schema. So currently we have 281 IXs that automate the, the data to the IXP database through an API. Um, we coming soon. We're looking at um, the ability to visualise the data and um, and, org and analyse it yourselves. Um, so we will have maps and different charts that you can you can use to do that. You can also um, you'll also be able to download um, data sets so that you can kind of take them away and work on, work on them yourself. Whether you do that in an Excel spreadsheet or through the JSON file, that's also going to be an option. So um, you know it's not just that you have to use the IXP database interface. You can actually take the data away and use that to um, and plug it into your own systems even. So the next thing is um, finalize the traffic API, and I'm going to look at Arnold there because it's something that he's been pushing for a while. Um, and obviously that's going to help us um, build uh, traffic trends and, and more data sets around traffic um, as well. Data validation, um, you know, this is, this is key because um, we want to make sure that the data that we have in the database is accurate. Um, so we're looking at doing different types of authentication and validation. Um, and also we're going to identify other third-party useful data that we can add to the IXP database that would enrich the data and give a more holistic view of the interconnection scene. 
Um, and examples of that, so we already have um, the Manners, um, Manners uh, plugin, so you can see which IXPs and also which networks are already Manners compliant. So if that's something specific that you're looking for, um, you can um, filter by seeing which, uh, which networks um, are Manners compliant. Uh, other information you can find on um, the, 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 the lists here. Um, I'm not going to go through them because I think I'm running out of time um, and I want to talk about... Ah, but before I do move on to the next project, I want to say a big thank you to the sponsors. If you are interested in sponsoring the IXP database and, and you know, interested in seeing more of that, then please come and either speak to me, drop me a mail, um, and I'd be more than happy to speak to you about uh, the different options there. Um, but of course, I want to thank uh, the existing sponsors because without them, we could not do what we do. So um, thanks to all the existing sponsors. Right, the Peering Toolbox. This is also a new um, project that we're working on. As we know, the, uh, the role of, um, well, Transit has changed. The traditional cha transit has changed from what we what we uh, were seeing 20 plus years ago, where ISPs were providing the internet uh, transit to the organisation. So, like for example, the CDNs and the en uh, enterprise networks and the end users. But now, with the well, the growth of the internet and um, in the internet becoming such an essential part of every organisation, where there's 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 more you know there's more to do and businesses need to optimize their services. So what's the problem? The, again, the growth in the, and the importance of internet business is uh, driving more enterprise networks to manage their own connections to the internet. So they're moving away from the traditional ISP and uh, looking at peering themselves. But managing this comes, obviously, there are risks. Um, it is more than, you know, you're not just dealing with your one vendor, your, your transit provider where you have an account manager and, um, you know, one single point of contact. You're now dealing with a different IXPs, you're dealing with peers directly. So it's not just managing one relationship, you're managing multiple relationships. So enterprises now take on the role previously, uh, which was obviously previously for um, the ISP. Um, so, and then and enterprise networks need to think about IP addresses. Where, you know, where do they get their IP addresses from? Where do they get an ASN from? How does the routing registry work? What is a routing registry? You know, who do you peer with? How do you peer? And understanding, most importantly as well, I think, is understanding the peering community. Um, you know, trying to get involved and, you know, attend meetings like DNOG and the right meetings and peering forums and things like this so that uh, they can also um, uh, learn. So, and that takes me on to the next point where there is a lot to learn. So there's questions like where do we start, who do we speak to, um, you know, where do we go, are there best practices? So all of these questions um, are questions that the peering toolbox will answer. So, the Peering Toolbox is a community-focused project, again. Um, there are a number of organizations that have been involved, and the aim is to provide a learning structure and best practice information for new entrants into the community. The Toolbox will act as a reference, uh, reference and guide um, that people can point to so that they can learn more about Peering. There's already a lot of good work by the community, so we're not looking to actually replicate any of the work because we don't want to, uh, well, we don't want to duplicate the efforts when there is already so much good work out there. So what we're doing is we're looking for, you know, um, some content from uh, people that have created, uh, created it. I know that we've used, we've already used quite a lot of the, uh, the presentations and work that uh, Wolfgang has been doing uh, over the years. So um, if anyone has any content they think would be helpful and useful for the Peering Toolbox, again, come and speak to me or um, drop me a mail. Um, the target audience really is everyone who's involved uh, with Peering. The idea of the website is that we will have short, short sections uh, with clear explanations of each topic. And um, it's easy, it should be easy uh, for organizations to understand how to use the system. Um, and also what we'll have is we'll have a uh, structured 
uh, format so that you can have a beginner's, intermediate, and advanced. So if you're a beginner, you know where to go. If you're intermediate, you know where to go. And if you're advanced, you know where to go. Or you can just follow the steps and do the beginner, intermediate, and advanced um, stages and then um, learn, learn about um, peering that way. So, uh, looking for community members to help with contributions to improve the toolbox, um, you know, things like peering advice, if you have any interesting blogs that we can share, technical know-hows or how-tos, um, and ongoing improvements um, also is also something that um, you know, we're interested in hearing about. Very quickly, I know that I'm like nearly over time. Uh, other activities that we do, we like I mentioned, the IXP report. Um, we also have a uh, IXP benchmarking report where um, IXPs can use that information to uh, see where they stand with other IXs. Uh, I've mentioned the newsletter. I've mentioned the root server large BGP communities list. I've mentioned the new film. Please take a look. I'd love to hear some feedback on the new film. Um, we are on social media, so feel free to follow, like, and um, uh, yeah, join us <laughs> there. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Bijal. Are there any questions? Online questions? on-site questions. No? Thank you very much. All right, thank you. <laughs>